Schwab is just arriving to watch Mr. Science perform his latest fascinating experiment. Oh, hello there, Jimmy. You're just in time to watch me perform my latest fascinating experiment. Gosh, oh, hemlock, that's wonderful, Mr. Science. <laughs> I was afraid I'd join to be late. I had a little trouble walking in these plastic snowshoes you made for me last week. Can't seem to get them off. Well, you're not supposed to take them off, Jimmy. I molded them to your feet so you wouldn't lose them. Oh, gosh, that's a Jim Dandy idea, Mr. Science. <laughs> and I really don't mind at all that I have to sleep standing up. Well, I'm glad you like your new snowshoes so well, Jimmy. But now, it's time to move along to today's experiment. Time and that Mr. Science. What experiment have you planned for today? Well, today, Jimmy... We're going to try to prove that wood will float in water. Glorioski! You mean that just plain everyday wood will float in water? Well, that's what we're going to try to prove. Now, first, we'll fill up this laboratory receptacle with tap water. Holy net, Mr. Science! That faucet broke right off in your hand. Yeah. Now you won't be able to turn the water off. Well, we'll have to get a wrench or something after the show is over. We'll just let it run for the time being. Now... I see that our receptacle is full of water, and we'll try floating some wooden objects on it. Shopping Jehoshaphat, Mr. Science. What are those wooden objects you have in your hand? Those are called toothpicks, Jimmy. Great day of the morning. Wait till I tell the kids in school I've seen real toothpicks. <laughs> now, you notice that the toothpicks do float in the water. Now I think we'll try a little larger wooden object. Gosh, Mr. Science, the boss is still running full force over there. The water's almost up to my knees right now. Well, a little is spilling out over the floor, but we'll mop it up after we go off the air. Try many, Mr. Science. Your workbench is starting to float over there. It must be made out of wood, too. Yes, that's a very good example of the principle that we're trying to prove today. Me, the water's almost up to my shoulders now, Mr. Science. I wouldn't complain so much, but it's awfully cold. Water. I'll just try not to think about it, Jimmy. Now, next we're going to try floating this small maple block in this receptacle of water. Jimmy, is that a real maple block? Wait till it tells you. Jimmy, where are you, boy? Hold your hand up so I can see it. Jimmy. Oh, Jimmy. Mr. Science has been brought to you Jimmy. by the Kumquat Institute of America.